everyone welcome back as you can see my bookshelves are completely empty and I am also filming in a new area and that's because my husband and I recently moved last week so we are now in our new place and all of my books are stacked up in the closet and in boxes just waiting to be placed on my shelves I haven't done a bookshelf tour video yet and I love those videos so I've been really wanting to make one and I thought this would be the perfect time to do a video organizing my bookshelves and also giving you a bookshelf tour. As you can see all of my books are pretty much in the corner of the closet and there's a box here, a box there, a box and then another one. So they are just waiting to be placed on my bookshelf. Before I get started I want to show you the two bookshelves that I own. This one is from Ikea and it has five shelves plus the shelves are adjustable. I'm quite impressed with it because I got it my freshman year in college and it's held up through multiple moves and I mean it's not even real wood it's just it's a fake wood with a cardboard back. I also have this bookshelf right here this one my parents gave me. I like it it's quite pretty. Before I get started I just want to quickly tell you how it is that I organize my bookshelves. I like to use the top shelf series and then my standalones and on the bottom shelves I typically do my TBR books or my children books or books that I don't really like and then I'll usually start with hardback and then I'll do paperback. I also like to put more of my favorite series in the scenes where I'm filming. I think I'm gonna want to maybe just like show this shelf and maybe like this one so I'll put my favorite books kind of in those shelves so that you guys can see those. My books are finally arranged on my shelf I think I may do a little bit of tweaking later on once I you know add some decorations to my shelves but so far at least my books are finally out of the box and onto my shelves so let's get started with my bookshelf tour starting with the top shelf I have the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer book one Twilight book two new moon book three Eclipse book four breaking dawn and life and death which which is Twilight Reimagined. Next I have The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer, starting with Book 1, Cinder, Book 2, Scarlet, Book 3, Cress, and Book 4, Winter. Next I have The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter, which consists of Book 1, The Raven Boys, Book 2, The Dream Thieves, Book 3, Blue, Lily, Lily, Blue. And I've left a space for Book 4, which is The Raven King. Moving to the second shelf, I have A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Mass, starting with A Court of Thorns and Roses and book two A Court of Mist and Fury. Next I have the Throne of Glass series also by Sarah J Mass. Book one Throne of Glass. Book two Crown of Midnight. Book three Air of Fire and book four Queen of Shadows. Next I have A Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor starting with Daughters of Smoke and Bone which is book one. Days of Blood and Starlight which is book two and Dreams of Gods and Monsters which is book three. Lastly on this shelf I have the Starbound trilogy by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Book one being these broken and stars, book two being This Shattered World, and book three being Their Fractured Light. On the next shelf I have my paperback series, starting with the Leviathan trilogy by Scott Westerfeld, and that consists of Leviathan book one, Behemoth book two, and Goliath book three. Then I have Across the Universe trilogy by Beth Revis, book one Across the Universe, book two A Million Suns, and book three Shades of Earth. Next I have the Unbecoming of Meyer Dyer trilogy by Michelle Hodkin, book one 
is The Unbecoming of Myra Dyer, two is The Evolution of Myra Dyer, and three, The Retribution of Myra Dyer. Next, I have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children trilogy by Ransom Riggs, book one, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, book two, Hollow City, and book three, Library of Souls. Next, I have The Hunger Games trilogy by Suzanne Collins, The Hunger Games, which is book one, Catching Fire, which is book two, and Mockingjay, which is book three. And lastly, on the shelf, I have the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series by Rick Riordan, which consists of book one, The Lightning Thief, book two, Sea of Monsters, book three, The Titan's Curse, book four, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and book five, The Last Olympian. On the next shelf, I have hardback and paperback, The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis, which has The Magician's Nephew, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, The Horse and His Boy, Prince Caspian, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, The Silver Chair, and The Last Battle. The Host by Stephanie Meyer, The Coldest Girl in Coal Town by Holly Black, The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, Carry On also by Rainbow Rowell, Passenger by Alexandra Bracken, Uprooted by Naomi Novik, Hyperbole and a Half by Ali Brosh, Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, The Diviners by Libba Bray, The Lord of the Rings Trilogy by J.R.R. Tolkien. This consists of Book 1, The Fellowship of the Rings, Book 2, The Two Towers, and Book 3, The Return of the King. The Hobbit also by J.R.R. Tolkien, Seconds by Brian Lee O'Malley, this is a graphic novel, and Through the Woods by Emily Carroll, this is also another graphic novel. On the last shelf, I have My Junie B. Jones series by Barbara Parks, Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine, Breathing Underwater by Alex Flynn, The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd, The Twist Rose Key by Tony Amya, The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen, Size 14 Is Not Fat Either by Meg Cabot, Every Boy's Got One by Meg Cabot, She Went All the Way also by Meg Cabot, Evermore by Allison Knowles, Spirit Bound by Rochelle Mead, which is book five in the Vampire Academy series, The Last Sacrifice also by Rochelle Mead, and this is the sixth book in the Vampire Academy series, and Wedding Night by Sophie Kinsala. Okay, moving on to my next bookshelf, I have the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling, book one being Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I also have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the illustrated edition, book two, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, book three, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, book four, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, book five, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, book six, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and book seven, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I also have the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook by Dina Buchholz. Going to the next shelf, this is pretty much my TBR pile, starting with the Infernal Devices trilogy by Cassandra Clare, book one being Clockwork Angel, book two, Clockwork Prince, and book three, Clockwork Princess. Next, I have the Glow Trilogy by Amy Kathleen Ryan, book one, Glow, book two, Spark, and book three, Flame. I also have Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins. I read this book, but I haven't read anything else in the trilogy, so I have it in my TBR pile. Then I have the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I have Lux The Beginnings, which consists of Obsidian and Onyx. Lux Consequences, which consists of Opal and Origin, and I have Lux Opposition, which consists of Opposition and Shadows. Next, I have the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. This is the spin-off series to Percy Jackson, book one being The Lost Hero, book two, Son of Neptune, book three, The Mark of Athena, book four, The House of Hades, and I'm missing book five, which is The Blood of Olympus. Next, I have the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson, book one, Mistborn, book two, The Well of Ascension, and book three, The Hero of Ages. The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. This is book one. I have to get the remaining books of the trilogy. And I have Plus One by Elizabeth Fama. And on the last bottom shelf, I have my Nora Roberts collection, The Witness, Black Hills Chasing Fire, Angel Falls, Hidden Riches, Savor the Moment, Charmed and Enchanted, which is the Donovan series, and then the Chesapeake Blue Saga, which I have book one, Sea Swept, and book four, Chesapeake Blue. All right, everyone. Well, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my bookshelf tour. Leave comments down below. I hope you have a great night and I will see you next time with another video. Bye!